<sighs> Part two. Tiriana Tudana. World record wheelbarrow assembly. Peace women learning. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so here we are. Oh, this to Martai. Hello, Martai Cotterie. So, the reflections of what I have so far while I'm to assemble the wheelbarrow is one, you might be thinking, what's assembling a wheelbarrow got to do with a healing journey, with your healing journey, with my healing journey? Well, what came up was with the Kahoi Te Aos, um, business program for e-commerce. Um, behind me is my first husband's tennis rackets. In front of me is all of the shit that I've accumulated in that lifetime as well as my life, um, my now husband, to a Tūrara. And coming back to the healing journey and the wheelbarrow and the now and the today and the story of the past and your my limiting belief so i could have been a fixed mindset and said i'm not doing the wheelbarrow because one i'm a girl goes the crowd two i'm not doing the wheelbarrow because um my current husband should be doing it um, <laughs> but it's yet to be revealed why he can't and then I could stay in the past of three being a blubbering mess in the psych ward because my husband died and life's not fair so chose in this moment to tackle the wheelbarrow doesn't take a penis or a vagina to put a wheelbarrow together, what it does take is critical thinking, um, growth mindset, and learning, and having peace within while I'm learning. So my learning in part two, midway through, is the past can stop you in life, just like Simba on the film Lion King, and then you can just hakuna matata it. Or... You know, Nala can slap you on the face and say, hey, do you want to stay <laughs> And the monkey. Do you want to stay in that trauma or do you want to work through it? So thank you for joining me in my wheelbarrow experience today. For me being a critical thinker and a growth mindset in challenging myself not to go into a story challenging myself not to go into the past challenging myself to have peace within learning albeit a very uncomfortable concrete floor to be able to on this journey of sorting out my third drawer of shit in my garage from moving from Wanyamata to Rotorua so thank you for on my journey. I hope this has helped you somewhat in your healing journey and your projects that you might be thinking, what's stopping me from doing things? So aroha mai to everybody. Thank you so much. I'll see you on part three with some stuff in the wheelbarrow. Bye.